Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Astronauts. This is gonna be episode three now that we are um It's been uh it's been a couple days since the recording of episodes one and two. And uh I will admit that I while I have done my best to reach that certain same state of mind, uh uh that same level of enlightenment that I was at for the first two episodes, it's a weekday today, so I'm not gonna do that. Um anyway, I do recall that there was a derelict with a reactor on it. And I also do recall that we were, um, gonna make a lot of money. Uh, one thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so this is not good. Um,. I think I, I think I actually mentioned this at the beginning of the last episode. Uh, the first thing we're going to run out of is probably air. Uh, so you can see right now we're down to 56 kilopascals of pressure, uh, which is not great. Um, so we're actually suffering from some mild hypoxia. Now I wonder if we actually... Ha we do seem to have some air in this tank. So, I wonder if I can, like, release some. Um, wait, a 78.3 kilopascal, hang on, hey, whoa, 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 no going outside. Oh, 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 it's 55 uh, kilopascals of nitrogen, how do we see how much oxygen there is? Because I am still feeling unwell and flushed, which is not making me happy. Starts opening... D Why are you going to the airlock? No? Okay. Um, I think whatever materials I need to repair this are outside. Which means... Well, in all honesty, like, uh, we, we should really get more than one of these anyway. So let's, let's just go out, collect some stuff. Wait, yep. Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna pump it down, but we are gonna wait for the door to close. What do we get? Hey, another... Hang on a second. What? Are there... people there? Holy crap, there's people! Um... Are they a lot alive? That guy's definitely lying down. So is that guy. There isn't any... I mean, unless there's like a lifeboat area. That guy doesn't... What? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. This is... This has become a little bit more worrying now. Um... Okay. So what do we do with the people? Like, do we just leave this extremely valuable derelict? No, because it says there's no pressure in there, and like... I don't think they're wearing suits. Personally, I don't think I'm supposed to be seeing this, right? Because, like, I can't see through doors in real life. Um, so I'm thinking... Like, uh, 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 what could this possibly, uh, uh um turn into. We need, we need parts, right? Um, first off, we need parts. Second off, we need, uh, 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 more components. What kind of components do we want? We want components that look expensive. In other words, for thrusters. That was this plate. Oh, uh, crate. Empty. Okay. What do we need for that thruster? Wow, we're, we're, we're going for a bit of a walk. Huh. 
We need carbon fiber. Okay. That was definitely just like a very, very long way around. Um, right. This actually looks like a pretty nice crowbar. Let's grab this crowbar. Yeah, 60% condition. Not bad. Um, mechanical parts and a couple thrusters. Let's uninstall these while we are at it. Speed things up a bit. All right, cool. What's going on? Oh, high CO2. Okay, we'll have time to uninstall this guy. Vaguely unwell and flushed. Yeah, we're still fine. Mild hypercapnia. Yeah, we're, we're still fine. It's mild. Okay. Because I mean, like, mild... Ooh, moderate hypercapnia. I wonder what the technical definition is for, like, mild and moderate hypercapnia. Because, like, I know... So, you know, like, the, the world is at, what, 400 ppm CO2? Like, 450 by now, probably? Because we crossed the 400 back, like, you know, 5, 10 years ago. Um, which is crazy. But then, like... Because, uh, like, an... I think a well or a well insulated, not a well ventilated, a well insulated office building will sit at around like a thousand ppm CO2. That's like, you know, that's when maybe even higher than that. I don't remember what the numbers were. I think like a thousand is like a old, like a person's house, like indoors in general. You know how like I uh, thing like an, a stuffy room. You know how like a room gets stuffy? That's that's about a thousand or a thousand ppm, as I recall. And then like as you go from there to like you know as as your CO two goes up, I think like two or three thousand, like you start. It becomes the equivalent of just like you know having several beers. Uh, yeah, it it, it you, you really kind of get fucked up at that point. Um, <clears throat> you know, five or ten thousand, you're just fucking loopy. You're not even on this planet anymore. Ten, no, I think at ten thousand, like people start dying. Um, so I guess you're literally no longer on this planet at that point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess I don't. I guess severe hypercapnia would be ten thousand, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um. You know what? Well, this guy is... No, I'm not going to look it up at the moment. I'm going to look it up between episodes, because this guy can repair fast if I just speed things along. Why is it taking so long to repair? Moderate hypercapnia. Why do I have moderate hypercapnia? So we should have 22 kilopascals of oxygen... Which is what you need to breathe. Okay, we're down to mild hypercapnia. Oh, okay, okay, I think that's me recovering. Right, okay, so I went from moderate back down to mild, then to unwell and flushed, yeah. Because I think 22 kilopascals of oxygen is, you know, human minimum. Um. Yeah. I wonder if the lower... Well, I guess with lower pressure, it shouldn't really affect it, right? Because you just end up with a higher percentage of oxygen. So that given lower pressure, you are still getting the same amount of oxygen, which is those same 22 kilopascals that you'd be getting at Earth pressure. Um, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and I guess the 50 kilopascals of nitrogen don't really matter in that case. Because the nitrogen doesn't really do anything, right? It's just a filler gas. Well, I guess it kind of... Okay, it it, it... it... It calms things down, because if the atmosphere was all oxygen, then, uh... <laughs> the discovery of fire would have been a lot more fun. Um... Not because oxygen burns. Oxygen does not burn. 
Common misconception, oxygen does not burn. Oxygen makes other things burn very well, right? Like, you need, you need two things to burn. Well, you need four things to burn, but the two main things are a fuel and an oxidizer. And the fuel gets oxidized by the oxidizer. And it, it, it's just called an oxidizer because oxygen is an oxidizer. It's not the best oxidizer. There are better oxidizers than oxygen. Um, what was it? Chlorine trifluoride comes to mind. Or actually just chlorine in general. Um, <laughs> look that one up. Uh, but, yeah. So oxygen itself does not do the burning. As for the other, the other two things that you need are heat and an ignition source. For those of you that are now uh, 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 being feeling left out, um, now you learn something. You know, this is this is an educational YouTube video. All of a sudden, look at that! Like you're learning some fucking science up in this bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, chemistry. Right. Speaking of chemistry, let's see. What, look up the neurochemistry of ethanol. Uh, that'll make you stop drinking. <laughs> that, that, that stuff's messed up. Uh. Anyway. I just want to get through at least one of these thrust repairs. I think uh, my plan at this point is... Yeah, I was actually, like, when I when I first started off, I was really worried. Because I thought that, like, we, we were at low pressure. But I realized that air is actually probably not the issue. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hey, hang on, hang on. Hey, whoa. What was that? Stop. We are going to scroll slowly. I feel helpful. I feel hungry. I feel cool and distant. I have no intimate needs. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, I am keeping my composure. No longer feeling nauseous. Helpful. Connection with others. Handle on their fears and is vomiting. So... Well, I guess that explains why I'm feeling hungry. I'm just a little bit worried about the uh, <laughs> vomiting. That part's not not so good. Um, I wonder what that is. Did I like eat some bad food or something? I don't know. Okay, can we can we repair this guy? I'm gonna have to go off the boat to get parts, aren't I? I can already tell. Scrap and carbon fiber. Yep. And I think actually there's that only just that one piece of scrap carbon fiber. Alright, so, uh, whoa. I... I don't look so good, man. What what the hell's going on? Are we like leaking atmosphere in there? Huh. That's weird. I thought I saw an airflow and it definitely went down point zero two kilopascals, I just Huh. Oh well. Okay. Um What am I looking for? I'm looking for food. Where'd I put my food? I have some I definitely have some food here, don't I? Yeah, there's some food. Let's uh let's eat these. Long for better food. Wist wistfully imagines tasting real earth food, grass-fed meat, fresh-caught fish, field-grown produce. Hmm. I think I am going to long for better food really quick, because it helps our uh, self-control, apparently. 
Oh no, our self-worth goes up, our altruism and our meaning goes down. Alright, whatever. And then let's eat, because autonomy goes up. I have some fucking nachos. Alright, cool. We have eaten. Our hunger is back down. Hopefully we're not going to puke anytime soon. Uh, we still look really unhappy for some reason. Can I, like, check why? What is going on here? Severe burns and vomiting. Severe burns? Wait, 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 wait. Bro, did I get radiation put? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is... There's a good reason that those people are dead, isn't there? Ah. Uh, I have severe burns. I can't go back outside. Like that is Those are severe burns. <sighs> Does this game have radiation? Like, straight up? Is radiation in this game? Because, like, okay, so I am, I have severe burns causing skin to redden and blister. I don't recall interacting with fire. Um... And I have vomiting. Like, random nausea and severe burn. This is this is radiation poisoning, right? And, like, there is a reactor on this boat, and there's three dead people on this boat, which makes me think... Well, at least they look like three dead people, which makes me think radiation poisoning. Like, straight up, I, I'm pretty sure we have radiation poisoning, and... I don't... I don't know what to... Mm. I guess we could just go back, hope for the best. Um, is there a way to like check for radiation? I mean, I'm. Uh, they must have been running without a without a shield. They must. So the reactor must still be on somehow. Unshielded. Or does this get? I. I don't actually know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna um. I'm gonna go back to the station. I'm gonna remember where this where this wreck is. Uh, I'm gonna go back to K Leg. Fucking you know pollute the shit out of them, but I don't care because this video game. And I am going to sell these two thrusters for money. And I am going to sell these cigarettes for money. And I am going to. Uh, See if there's a doctor on K leg, I guess. I actually I, I have no idea what to do. Yeah, well, I guess let's go see if there's a doctor. Um Find another ship maybe? But this one Should we grab the third thruster? Let's just grab the third thruster. Yeah, let's let's fuck it. We're gonna do the stupid thing. Or gonna pretend I didn't notice the severe radiation burns. Um. Oh, we're gonna also grab this door. Or we're not gonna grab this door because uh, there it is. There we go. We are going to bring it back here. Mm, 
gonna have to keep bringing it back, aren't we? Yes, we are. Um, I now think I probably should have just left the door there, because honestly, like, we could get a door anywhere else. Um, just wasted some air. Alright, whatever. So, radiation's in this game. Probably. anything, we'll get some money out of this. And then maybe we'll... What else do we even get out of that, right? So, like, some cash and... Um... Does anything, like, look obviously radioactive? No. It's gotta be the reactor, right? Oh, well, it's just... Maybe it's stuff out here. But what would be doing it? Air temperature that is too hot. Is no longer vo vomiting. Selfish. Keeping composure. Electrical engineering over five. I wonder if it's just, like, background radiation from, like, uh, uh, um, whatchamacallit. Just from being in space. Uh, or maybe it's just, like, a hypercapnia response. I don't fucking know. I didn't think this game would model at, like, I, I just straight up, no idea. I've never gotten particularly far in this game. Fuel regulator. Laser ray. Advanced hypercapnia. Yeah, okay, so this is this is like the, you know, three or four thousand ppm part. This is where the earth is gonna be in Oh, I don't know, 200 years? <laughs> if we're still around. Um, which is a big ol' maybe. Okay. Let's breathe for a little bit. Get rid of the uh, hypercapnia. Moderate. La, da, 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 da. Do nav message received. That's a problem. because I don't have a salvage license. I am salvaging illegally. And this nav message may well be the police being like, hey, fuck you. Pay us. In which case, I'm screwed. Unread messages. I ran out of fuel. Sorry, buddy. I don't think I'm gonna help you. This, 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 this looks sketchy. Feels sketchy. I'm poor. Um, um. You're by K leg. You're, you'll be fine. Okay. Are we still, um. Fucked. Let's see. How do I, how do I select myself? There we go. Yeah. Severe burns, mild headache, moderate hypercapnia. So where did I get the severe burns then? Scrap carbon fiber. I need to. I need to get some scrap carbon fiber. Okay. That's my big next thing. Man, I kind of feel like a dick for turning down the dude for fuel, but we are literally like two minutes away from K-Leg, right? Like, it's not like he's gonna die. 
unless there's a reason he's specifically asking me for fuel, and that reason is he sees that I'm docked to a ship that he believes to be lucrative for loot. Maybe he killed those three dudes. Either way, I think I'm going to, um, 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 leave him be. So do we want to remove this door? Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, let's, let's, nah, let's just go see what's over here. So let's see if we can find out if this reactor was actually running. Because if we do have radiation burns, well, shit, I guess we need to figure that out. Fusion field coil assembly off. Contain direct fusion reaction plasma for both inertial confinement and drive thrust. So is that a reactor? I'm not really sure. Whoa. These one by one racks have three storage each. That's actually kind of cool. I kind of want those on my ship. I think I'm going to take apart this laser array. Install. I'm actually going to. Oh no, I don't need to repair it. I'm just going to uninstall it. Um, we had well flushed, la -di -da, da 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 maybe I'll get the fuel array, so that gives me, what, three thrusters, uh, laser array, uninstalled, right? No, not quite uninstalled, almost uninstalled. Then... Yeah, that'll give us enough cash for an EVA suit, I think. Which means that we could either come back here and collect all this other stuff. Cryo pump. Oh, man. I feel like this really is a reactor. Because, like, it's got a cryo pump and everything. Like, what is all this? That feels like the kind of stuff you'd have in a reactor. This, in general, feels like the kind of ship that I want to come back and s strip down for parts again. Uh, even though I was supposed to do that this episode, I feel like I have not done anywhere near enough stripping of this ship for parts. Um, and it's... yeah. Uh, um, what do we get? We can, first off... Take off our hut here and head directly into our ship to equalize the pressure. And then we will restore this guy. Restore. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing next? Um, dang, I guess I, I feel like I might just end this episode in the next uh, few minutes and then we're gonna have to come back and keep scrapping. I should check on my batteries, right? So, uh, now, if we if we know that we have tons of oxygen gas, right? I mean, 400 kilos of oxygen gas, that's a ton of gas. That is, that is, um... What? 32 grams of oxygen is 22 liters. So... Eh, it's about a cubic foot. For those of us uh, who live in freedom units. Not quite. I think a cubic foot's 28 liters. Um, so yeah, just, you know, imagine a cubic... A little less than a cubic foot of gas. Two thirds of a cubic foot gas. It's 32 grams. Um, so 420 kilos, 421 kilos. That's what 32 times a thousand, hundred, hundred, not a thousand. No, 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 because it's 423 kilos. So it's yeah, 32 would be here. So that'd be like point, uh, point being moved one, two, three, uh, thousands. 
So a thousand. Give us 32 kilos. Uh, 10,000 would give us 320 kilos. And then another third. So that's what, 13,000? 13,000 two thirds of a three quarters of a cubic foot? Is that what we said? Two thirds of a cubic foot? I don't remember anymore. Someone, someone go back, like, check this recording, see if I, uh, what I said makes sense at all. Um, anyway. See, this is. Possible collision imminent. Okay, let's. It's. It's. I think it's time to check the nav station. Cause something doesn't feel quite right. Oh. 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 That is a patrol. Okay. Um. Mm, mm, mm. Hail ship. No. Where's the local? V Lake. Initiate undocking. Clamps. Oi. Let me unduck. Ah, shit, back. Wait, 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 wait. Let's think about this. Let's let's be smart. We're paused. We're good. Pause. Okay. Raphael Ambrosius Costo. And we need to get away from NAS Patrol 13. Hail ship. Is it this one? I guess it's this one, right? Undock. Yes, that is this one. And immediately burn backwards. Full burn backwards. Um. Oh, this is this is the guy that was asking me for fuel. Dude, is that a pirate? Oh boy. NAS patrol, right? So like definitely feels like it's someone checking to you know, make sure I'm paying my dues, which I'm not. So I need to get out of here. Um, regardless, I'm just gonna, I think, I think what's gonna happen is this. I'm gonna point at K-Leg, and I'm just gonna try to, uh, dock and end this episode. I think that's gonna be the end of this episode, is when I dock at K-Leg. So we're just gonna do a pretty sizable burn. I'm, I'm, I'm torching my Delta V. Holy crap, I'm, I'm torching it. We are getting out of here. This police ship is not going to stop me. Yeah, that's right. 300 meters per second, 400 meters per second. We are in, we are going top speed. And actually, yeah, because of my burn backwards, we're, we're actually uh, just only now evening out. Um, what's this guy doing? He turned around. Did he? I feel like he's docking at that ship. Hmm. Okay, that was interesting. Alright, so we have, what, two busted thrusters, one fixed-up thruster, one fixed-up laser something or other. That's probably one or two thousand. Um, um, I am now concerned. Okay, so shift ends, that means we owe... Two thousand some. Two thousand plus if we get 
I don't know, 1500 from the thrusters. If we can buy some carbon fiber to fix up the other two, we'll sell those two for 1500 as well. And the laser. Honestly, I don't think we can make rent and buy a salvage license either at the same time. It's actually really unfortunate. Should have worked faster. Okay. Live and learn. Um, that's all you can really say there. There's got to be a way to like go back into the navigation thing if you're in it. Oh well, whatever. ETA is a minute and thirty seconds. Let's just speed that up a little bit. Yeah, slow it down a little bit, maybe. Yeah, slow it down a lot a bit. ETA five minutes. That's a little bit better. Let's get that. Um, whoops. Angle fixed. Go to one time speed. Angle's looking like it's getting fixed up slowly. Slowly but surely. Oh! What is that? Two minutes off? No, because minutes is still 60, I think, for degrees. I don't remember if it's 60 or whatever. Uh, let's just fast forward a bit. Alright, so I'm not sure what we just avoided, but um, that ship showed up red on my view screen, and uh, we got away. I'm going to call that a win. Um, yeah, and I guess Kaleg's there. Yeah, give me a, give me a, oh, I'm too far away, okay, awesome. Wait, I am? I thought you needed to be five kilos, uh, five kilometers away. Back, docking. Close docking clearance. Yeah, okay, there we go. Let's speed this up a little bit. What? Definitely some value in using the uh, time controls. And, well, instead of the fuel controls, maybe. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. All right. Either way, we're back at Kaleg. We haven't been arrested, I don't think. We are still um, feeling a little. Uh, uh, I think radiation burned, scarred, because that that really makes me not happy. Uh, maybe we did burn ourselves earlier, and I just don't remember it. Uh, headache, also not great. Look, a lot of this stuff makes me think we have radiation poisoning. I just don't know if it's in this game. Anyway, I'm done this, this episode here. Uh, so like, share, subscribe, do those fun YouTube things. And I'm going to call this episode... I have no idea. We'll find out. See you next time. Bye.